Why do you want to be famous? Because fame is love and I need love. Fame is love? Yeah, I like all the attention. Why do you think, why did, who told you that? Uh, I, I just well, concluded you know that after my, own, after, after my own analysis. Fame is being well known for doing something worthy, good, and interesting. I think that's kind of like love. One, 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 11, 11. I have a feeling this is going to be ha happening a lot in the near future. As I explained earlier, every time I look at the clock, that's what time it is. At least three, one out of every four times that I look at a digital clock. Anyway, it's good B-roll, walking up the steps, going to the Yale University Art Gallery. I'd like to introduce Mark Costabi. I'm very glad that he was willing to come up here today. So I'll hand it over to him. So, Hi, I'm Mark, and I brought these little things so you can immediately know a little bit about me, if you don't mind. You might have been told that you were coming to listen to an artist talk about his work in the art world, but actually I'm a game show host now. <laughs> a painting is brought and put on something that basically does the job of an easel. I asked the jury to vote, and they vote by raising colored ping pong paddles. The VIP front row jury members also offer analysis and are encouraged to offer interloper titles. If the luminaries are faltering, I immediately pay 20, a $20 bill, unless it's the $50 round. The band starts to play celebratory music, eight seconds of glory, art history bonus questions, a guest musical appearance. It's quite an elaborate production. question for you. Um, you've repeatedly said that you are a conceptual artist, first and foremost. What is your underlying concept? Well, I don't think a conceptual artist has to have an underlying concept. Or the idea with which no. you work. Social satire um, and critique of uh, contemporary, uh, a critique of, uh, of corporate culture. I got a lot of press in the 80s because I was very open about the industrial process of making art, probably because I was very provocative in the late 80s and early 90s, saying outrageous things to the public like, only a fool would buy a Kastabi, take the L out of play, take the R out of free, paintings are doorways into collectors' homes. You have to have a twist, so I twisted things a bit and took every possible opportunity I could to get attention. And uh, some of these things were less than dignified that I did. So I figured, you know, if I do a few silly things, eventually they'll forget uh, why I got into page six, and they'll just remember the name and, and hopefully spell it right. Ha have a lot of you been looking at the digital clock lately and seeing 1111? <laughs> yeah? I mean, I only look at the digital clock three or four times a day, and almost every day, one of those times, it says 11-11, and it's freaking me out, and it's been going on now for a long time. And I hear there's some sort of, there's like some organizations looking into this now, right? Like, almost cult things, or? I don't know about that. Well, I just want to thank you so much again for coming and speaking. Okay. And with everyone and answering questions. H have we done the sufficient amount of time? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Is it the sufficient? I think so. Thank you again yeah, for coming. Thank you so much for, for listening and showing interest.